Hey guys, this is Geek Talk for FreezeCracker.com, and I'm going to talk about the press conferences for Microsoft and Sony in 2011 for E3 and what my opinions are. And I'd love to hear yours. Um, simply just uh, comment on YouTube or comment on FreezeCracker.com or Facebook or reply me on Twitter. But let's talk about this. Let's talk about Microsoft's first. I think Microsoft did a really good job of supporting Kinect. Um, they really, really, really need to do that because Kinect as a platform right now is pretty fucking shitty. Um, however, I think that the Kinect stuff integrated into Ghost Recon and Mass Effect 3 was fucking stupid and pointless and retarded. I really don't want them to go the route PlayStation Move did and just integrate it into every fucking game possible. That's dumb. I really don't want that to happen. I want, uh... That I want Kinect to be its own platform and I want the Xbox 360 to be its own platform and just differentiate between the two. Kinect Fun Labs is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna do, a uh, like a demo of that later on, maybe today or tomorrow for Free Scracker. And uh, I think that a lot of the stuff that they did with Kinect and everything that me and Adrian said while playing uh, Dance Central, the original Dance Central, it, from seeing that demo in Dance Central 2, it looks like they did it. They fixed it. They, they did everything that needed to be done. You can import all your songs, which is fucking good. Because uh, if you hadn't played Rock Band and Guitar Hero, you couldn't do that shit. You could import some of them, but not all of them. So I'm glad you can import all your songs from Dance Central 1 to Dance Central 2. And, you know, I do see that being an issue with people who bought 4 gigabyte connects, though. They won't be able to do that. So, what you gonna do? And uh, I also really liked... Like the sports they announced in Connect Sports 2, but I think football looks shitty as hell. It really looks bad. However, golf looked really interesting, and I can't wait to get my hands on that. I hope they have a demo going up on the dashboard pretty soon. Speaking of which, the new dashboard adding YouTube and stuff, that's really interesting. I'm really liking Bing. It's like Spotlight for Mac. You can just, you know, say the word and it actually goes on the dashboard and searches for everything. That looks really cool, and I hope it really, really implement that well. And of course, the big ones, Halo CE and Halo 4. Man, those those looked really, really cool. I can't wait for Halo CE Remake because I never played the original and I'm finally going to get a chance to really sink my teeth into it and get in the experience. And hey, maybe if it's good enough, it'll make me stop playing Reach. And I love fucking Reach, so we'll see about that. Halo 4, that trailer looked really awesome. It makes me really interested in what's going to happen with that franchise. And I can't wait for that. Um, the new Fable fucking rail shooter, that looked crappy as hell. Honestly, my biggest disappointments were, uh, Mass Effect 3's stupid Connect shit, um, Ghost Recon's stupid Connect shit, and the Fable thing. Everything else about that conference was fucking great. I really dig digged it. I really dig the entirety of it. Like, even the Disneyland and Sesame Street stuff make fun all you want, but those are really cool shit. Like, if they, if they implement it correctly, like, the Disneyland one I'm kind of worried about because it just seems like Connect Adventures Disney Advent, like, Disney Edition. But if they really do the park well and scale it right, that'll be really interesting. That'll be really fucking interesting for someone who really likes Disneyland and stuff. Of course, didn't understand why they didn't do, they didn't do Disney World, though, because I heard Disney World's a lot better fucking park than Disneyland. But whatever. Uh... I'd also like to uh, address, like, what a, like the Microsoft, I really like the Bing. I, I really want to see more from Bing. I really want to know if Bing Awards are going to be attached to the Bing on Xbox. Um, and because they said they might, you know, integrate that with the Android app and stuff. So if they integrate that with uh, the search on Xbox, that would be brilliant too. Because Bing Awards is really cool. But right now it's only accessible on the web browser, which kind of really sucks. So, I really, as a big supporter of Bing, I want, you know, more Bing, like, rewards, integrations, and stuff to be all across all platforms and stuff. Um, let's go on to Sony, because I think I pretty much covered everything from Microsoft besides Rise and stuff. And I, the reason I didn't cover Rise and all that, and Forza 4, is because Forza 4 is already going to be awesome. Like, you can't, you can't deny that. It's going to be fucking awesome. And Rise, we don't know shit about it. So... What, what am I going to say? The dog looked pretty? <laughs> Whatever. We'll see more. And once that's once I hear more about that, I'll cover that. But <laughs> right now, I don't know shit about Rise. 
and uh, Forza 4 is going to be fucking awesome. There's no denying that. Um, so Sony. Sony, the PS3 side, really sucked. It really, really fucking sucked. Everything was already announced beforehand. Didn't see anything new. They kind of killed Dust 514 because Dust 514, the concept was going to be like a mag shooter across uh, the Xbox 360 PC and PS3 owners all playing each other at the same time. But now it's a mini game that's PS3 exclusive for EVE Online. So it really looked bad. It looked crappy. Um, then uh, the Star Trek stuff, which uh, they didn't really actually show anyone playing it. So I'm not very interested in that. Um, they were also really move and 3D heavy. And uh, I could really give ch two shits about either of those things nowadays. I mean, 3D's dying. 3D is fucking dying. It's pretty much dead. Um, movie theaters are starting to take it out because... 3D tickets aren't selling well. People are not going to 3D. 3D the, the, the gimmick's over. It's done. So I don't know why Sony's beating a dead horse. And I really don't know why they're throwing so much support behind the 3D. But who knows? I mean, you're actually limiting your people when you do 3D because uh, a lot of people can't see 3D if you have astigmatism. So I don't, I don't understand why they constantly support something that's pretty much dead. I mean... The 3DS is the only step forward in 3D that I've seen in a long time, and that's only because it's glasses-free. But glasses, like, sit down, TV, movie shit, it's dying. It's pretty much dead. So, I really don't see the point in doing that. And PlayStation Move, it just seems to be a lot of tacked-on stuff. Medieval Moves kind of seems in the same realm as Fable a Journey or whatever. I don't give a fuck about it. They're stupid. They're shitty. I don't want to play either of them. So... I really don't care about those. Um, but the PlayStation Vita. Sony knocked it out of the fucking park. Sony's press conference would have been really shitty if it wasn't for PlayStation Vita. PlayStation Vita, they nailed everything perfectly. This is the first time in a long time that I've been extremely excited for a Sony product. $250 price point. Better PSN features. Just fucking games, 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 games. It just looked so good. It was so well done. The 3DS is probably going to get its ass kicked. It's the same price. Like, everything Sony did was fucking great. Except for the AT&T exclusivity bullshit. That was stupid. But other than that, Sony knocked the ball out of the park with PlayStation Vita. But the, their PS3 side was extremely weak and uninteresting and boring. Except for Uncharted 3, which stole the PS3 show. I mean, Uncharted 3 was, like, the only interesting thing out of the entire conference on the PS3 side. Everything else was, like, minor exclusive shit that didn't really matter. Like, Bioshock 1 packed in. Like, I don't care. Um, and, you know, just Resistance 3 and Sly 4, which we've already seen. And Infamous 2, I have no idea why the fuck that was there instead of Twisted Metal. But, you know, from the Sony side... PS3 was horrible, this E3, but PlayStation Vita, holy fuck. I can't fucking wait. I, if I have the money this holiday season, I'm definitely picking one up. That was the most badass thing Sony has done in 10 years. They nailed everything perfectly. That's the Sony I want to see. And hopefully they can bring that kind of shit to the PS3 next year. Alright, that's what I'm thinking. Samuel out.